Heavens no! For hours. Ah, oh, nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then, finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. I took my joy! I took my joy! No! No! Leave me alone! No! No! Oh, hi, Arthur. There you are. You nearly missed the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! <gasps> you are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Call security. We've got a downer. going to hurt us. No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I I promise. But, but have they hurt the city? I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. in the parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah, the train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? Nice suit. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. No, <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. 
And a power cell. Now where I could mug a bobby? <laughs> You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die, then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. If you get them back from me, I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? My medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No, I only need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have installed most of those two? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Uh, hello? Anyone out there? <laughs> Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. Slamming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here. Over here. Do you want to get thrashed? God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return, you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous. Your funeral. Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy, and it like flips a switch, and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! I got your medals. Thank you. You don't know what these mean to me. To know that some of us fought. To know that I fought. You're probably too young to remember. We stood tall in those days. In 42, we threw them back into the sea. Then they came back in 43. It weren't the same. I hate to be a bother, but the card to get across the bridge? Right. Oh, of course, yeah. Sorry. Forgive an old man his memories. Well, good luck. What are we going to do if there isn't food? Will you shut it? I'm trying not to blow myself up. Hey, lock up your board bags. I'll piss in your corpses. We're coming for you, you greedy bastard! Go eat a banger, you leaky scanner! You're done hoarding all the bee meat! Too old to go to Germany, are you not?
Bloody hell. That's Ollie. Ollie! Come for me, have you? Ollie? I'm Arthur! You won't get me! You won't get me, you bastard! Ollie! No! It's Arthur! Bloody murdering wastrels! Have you gone mental? I'll save you, Margaret! I'm your old neighbour, Artie! Always lying! Little Artie! Artie's gone! They took him away! Ollie, no! They You're didn't! You're lying! You're a wastrel! Ollie, it's Arthur! Well, why didn't you see that before? Oh my god, Artie. Little Artie. Yeah, for fuck's sake. Watch your mouth, laddie. What would your mum think? I thought they took you away. No. They had my birthday wrong. What? Sorry? No, of course not. No, you've got it all wrong. That was Jack turned you in and I what tried to save you. Right. I remember now. You came back. From the station. The only one. You don't think they hurt him? Percy. The Germans aren't animals, you know. They just wanted to make sure we stay quiet. And we did. Spot of tea? Uh, that's very kind of you. I I'm not thirsty. That's right, Margaret. We have to run after water. <laughs> I have to find him. Any idea where he might be after all these years? Not really. I know I have to get out of Wellington Wells. I, th I thought I could take the train tracks to the bridge. Aye. The only way to the Britannia Bridge is the train station and the parade. And good luck getting into the parade. You could stay here. Remember when you and Sally used to stay with me? When the... It's young Artie. Meg, you remember Artie, don't you? No room at the inn for young Artie? No. You're right. You're always right. Sorry. Margaret says it's best if I keep to myself. Oh. Sorry to bother. But... Margaret thinks we could help each other. Really? Uh, brilliant! There's a warehouse. In the old German camp, we could burgle it. The Victory Memorial Camp? Where all those home army chaps run around practicing stabbing people with bayonets? What, what do you want me to do there? Run around yelling, here I am, shoot me, while you go in under the wire? There's uh, a thing I need from their warehouse. If you help me, I'll get you out of Wellington Wells. I just need you to turn off the power in the camp. And this isn't going to get me killed. Don't be a great girl's blouse. I'll meet you at the bunker after dark. Don't worry about the sentries on the bridge. I'll make sure they get a good night's sleep. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. No fucking civilians! I have to kill you now. Christ. I better not let anyone see me out of uniform. Arthur. Arthur? You get down from that tree before I chop it down. Do you know why they're registering us? The Germans love their lists, that's all. They're taking us away on a train to Germany. You know about it, don't you? Who told you that? It's ridiculous. Oh, oh, you all know about it, just not the kids. Look, they've got cows there. It's not going to be powdered milk. They might even have chocolate. Oh, chocolate makes it all better. They've got tanks, Arthur. Why haven't you noticed? How are we supposed to argue with tanks? I don't want to go to Germany. It's only for a little while, I think. I don't want to be a hostage. Calm down. Let's have some tea. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll come down. Um, I think I might be... Duck, actually. Do you ever wonder why the Germans didn't take their tanks with them when they left? I've made a map. There's a hole in the fence, inside the dump. You just have to get in here, get the key, and cut the power. Then, sneak out into the darkness while I rob them blind. 
Easy peasy lemon squeezy. How do I cut the power? The general keeps the keys in his desk. You want me to break into the general's office? Any way you can scotch the power is fine by me, lad. I'll meet you back at the train station. What if they spot me? I'd run. They don't have a lot of ammunition, but they're terribly handy with their bayonets. That's your plan B? Run? Well, you could ask them for some of their famous hot buttered crumpets, but I wouldn't recommend it. They can't run very fast. They're all old farts, like me. All right. Here goes. to the train station. We sent them off to Germany because of papier-mâché. That's a fair bit of Christmas there, isn't it? Did you know the power switch was alarmed? They're all quite mad, you know. Sometimes I think they want the Germans to come back. Did you know the power switch was alarmed? It's a shame of it, you see. They want another go. You bloody knew! How would I have known that? For fuck's sake, Artie, times are hard, but you and I go back a ways. The tanks were hollow, Ollie. What's that? It's tank armor. The tanks, they're made of papier-mâché. We could have fought them if they didn't really have tanks. No. I wouldn't have given them Percy and Who the others. Who it up? I wouldn't have had to lie my way off that train. Oh, my God. I lied my way off that train. I wasn't too old to go. You don't forget a thing like that. Didn't you hear me? I convinced the Germans they had my birthday wrong. If it was only me, I'd just take my happy pills and sleep through the end of the world. But I promised. I promised Percy I'd keep him safe while we were in Germany. You promised to help me get to the bridge. <laughs> The one in the parade, on Apple Home. How would you even get to it? You can't even go to Maidenholm. They shut that bridge down last week. No. You're right. You're always right. Ever seen one of these? What does it do? Have it the foggiest. <laughs> but supposing you took this to the bridge to Maidenholm. And supposing you told the Bobbies you were there to fix the bridge works, it might uh, enhance your credibility. And from Maidenholm, I can get to Appleholm. And Appleholm has the only bridge out of Wellington Wells. See? <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Well then, see you on the other side. I'd rather doubt that. <laughs> Adieu, Artie. Good luck. Lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past month. Ah! Oh, there's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Hell, my wastrel friend. No one goes off there, Joy, can actually take Joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, bugger me. You're not some sort of undercover bridge inspector. This device detects structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Oh, bugger. 
If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there? Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. Welcome to the Rehabilitation Center. Actually, I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural... It... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. May I express my delight that you passed the examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Well, sir, welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, please bear in mind there is now a nocturnal curfew. Best be indoors after nightfall, sir. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. Next week? Arthur? Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. Don't you lovely day for it, me, you idiot. It's me! Sally! Oh, I knew it was you. I mean, the glasses, the hair, the really adorable jacket. Don't ask me how, you're not that awkward little boy anymore, are you? But the way you walk, it's, it's like the mask isn't even there. I just, I just knew. There's Arthur! Sally? You look fantastic. This ancient thing? I've had it two weeks. I'm out of my mind with boredom. Green and white checked. Your dress, the last time I saw you. Running out the door. <laughs> oh, that horrible gingham dress. Oh, God, that takes you back. <sighs> You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little fucking faith. I'm not going to turn you in. Whatever possesses you to go off your joy? <sighs> I see. Oh, God. I saw a picture of him. I promised I'd look after him in Germany. I have to go and find him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. <laughs> Good Christ. Just tell the policeman that. I'm sure they'll wave your right on through. Yeah, haven't figured that bit out yet. I'm very close with General Bing. Of course you are. No. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. I mean, I could go see him and ask him to give you a letter of transit. Don't put the general out on my account. I'm sure you've only so many favours you can ask of him. My God. You still hate me, don't you? Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 years. We were 16! How could you? Because I liked him. Because he had that adorable beard. I don't know. There isn't a reason for everything. You're the last bloody person who should be off his joy. I can't believe you are. Believe me. Take enough stuff. Look. Some downer broke into my lab last week. Literally tore the bars off the windows. And the ridiculous thing is I forgot to lock the front door. Point is... It's a horrible, terrible world out there. I just don't see you smashing your way into the city without a great deal of help. Oh, no. Not me. I'm living on the King's Road right now. Of course you are. I couldn't exactly have stayed there, could I? Like, nothing happened. <sighs> Look. I'm sorry. This isn't what I meant to... <sighs> Maybe we could help each other. Maybe I could come by when I'm feeling... better? Brilliant. You ass. How about going to the King's Road, knocking on her door and apologizing grievously? And asking nicely for a letter of transit. She knows General Bing. Uh, hello. I'm attempting to locate Dr. Faraday. Uh, can you tell me where I can find him? I'm afraid that information is not for public consumption, sir. I'm gonna tell him where to find Bobby Hickenbotham, though. Oh, for heaven's sake. He's not at a reform club again, is he? He was supposed to go to Lud's own. Well, apparently he feels so guilty that Dr. F has been deprived of the liberties, which are the birthright of every English citizen, He's going to get his arse spanked. Constable Bevan, I'm not the public. I'm from the Department of Archives, Printing and Recycling. We're conducting an investigation into Dr. Faraday's handling of municipal records relating to the maintenance of the inter-insular bridges. Two requests have already been sent by Miss Bing to your superior requesting this information. 
If I have to go back to the parade, Miss Bean's next letter regarding this apparently deliberate festinence will include the name of the last person I talked to. Will that be you, Constable, or the chap who keeps the constabulary's address book? In that case, sir, why don't you take the elevator on up to records? They'll sort you out. Thank you. I shall. Percival Hastings, is it not? N- no. It's Arthur. Percival went away. Odd. There are some things you think you will never forget. But then I suppose you do. I'm Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Memories play tricks on you, do they not? You must get back on board! How old are you, Mr. Hastings? I'm 30. They typed my birthday wrong on the card. So, why are you here? No, I just need to take my brother to the train. Excuse me. I've been ordered to check up on Dr. Faraday. Where's Bobby Hickenbotham? The executive committee don't let just anyone drop by the lab, you know. Why not? Because they might be friends of Dr. F. You know what Dr. F could do with a bucket of motorline and a handful of mechanical bits? No, I don't either. And that's the point, isn't it? He's, uh, <laughs> at the reform club. Again. What are you implying? Uh, apparently he feels a bit guilty about Dr. F. You don't know about his, uh, Bonchon? Bobby Hickenbotham is marrying my sister. And I will thank you not to cast any perverted aspersions at his reputation. I have been ordered by the General himself to ask for credentials from the Beautification Committee. Have you got any? There you go. Fine. Watch out for anyone chattering away in something that don't sound like English. They're like mad dogs. And they'll give you plague. And keep your mouth shut about penchants, right? Oh, you better take these, in case you do catch plague over there. Not that I would wait. What the fuck are you doing here? Oh, leave us alone! Why won't you leave us alone? She's going to fucking kill us if we keep fucking up! Don't worry, Roger. I'm going to fix it. Because that's what I do, apparently. I'm fucked. We're both fucked. The professor's gonna kill us. She's gonna tell them to send us away. I'm always mucking things up for her, and... Roger's worse. He breaks everything. The professor's gonna send us both away. Can you get us a new valve? I'd let you use the professor's lab. Oh, it's brilliant. Why don't we speak Latin? Because it's 1946 and the Romans left Britain in 450 AD. I can't hear you. Why do you want to speak Latin? You always... You always... You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know what each... You always know what each word means when it comes out. Impedimenta, the baggage. Impedimentorum, of the baggage and impedimentis to the baggage. So it doesn't matter what all you say things? Yes. So long as you're talking about baggage. What? No, Arthur, I'm talking about... Oh, fuck off. Why are you learning Latin anyway? You still have trouble with English. I can see it in my head. You make the words by sticking endings on them. Well, that seems like an awful lot of effort. When you learn German. When... When you learn German. When you... I don't want to learn German! You just have to stick the right ending onto the word. I don't want to learn German! It's very good language. It has very strict rules. Imagine my surprise. Brilliant. Thank you. I didn't dare ask those idiots out there. They'd only set themselves on fire again. Um, what do you need it for? I've been working on a wormhole device, you see. Well, don't you look puzzled. Spent science class mooning after a girl, did you? They said it was dangerous. Ha! <laughs> Ridiculous. It's perfectly safe for the most part. You have a device that makes, uh, a portal of some kind? Um, hmm, the, uh, the going in the whole bit works. Theoretically, I can come out a second hole on the other side of the river. I just need a few particular mechanical pieces. That's how I'm getting out. How are you getting out? Oh, simple really. 
I just need to get to St. George, get a letter of transit, go to the parade and cross the Britannia Bridge without being arrested or shot full of joy by a doctor. Excellent. Here, you'll need this device. I've marked the cars that have the parts I need. Well, off with you. You are too old to go to Germany, are you not? No, no. I'm not going to put one more child on that train. Oh. Oh. Uh, are going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. But... We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. Now try not to fuck this up. You need a letter of transit. And an old friend. Oh, Sally. Sally? Sal? Sally who? Arthur! Oh. Come to have a go at me again. I used to think about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But, um, being a complete arse was sort of improvising there. Look. This is not a spectacular time. You said you know General Bing. Yeah, he's a client. A pharmaceutical client. I haven't had sex with anyone in ten years, and if I did, it wouldn't be with that man. Good. Did you really come here for a letter of transit? Or did you just need an um, excuse? Well, I, uh, sort of do need the letter of transit. Oh, Arthur. If you're really going to do something spectacularly stupid, these might come in handy. Uh, thanks. They make your pupils look teeny tiny, just like Joy does, but they have utterly no effect. About the letter? Could you do something for me? Uh, of course. What? I need a bottle of cod liver oil. I'd really like one. Cod liver oil? Why on earth would you want cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with. I wish I could remember her. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Why? Why would you want to remember your mum? If it's too much to ask. Well, I was kind of hoping for absolutely I will ask my friend the general for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. I'm being an arse again, aren't I? I'll get it for you. The letter. I'm not crazy, but I am always a little extra complicated. complicated. You used to understand. I'll, I'll get it for you. I mean, I'll try. You were always the best of the lot. I've missed you so. I really should go. You, you don't have to. I really really have to. Arthur. Thanks. I'll just... go. Oh, I meant to say... cod liver oil. Dr. Verloc has some at the labs on us glass. He keeps a whole private stash of rare ingredients. I'm sort of persona non grata there. I see I'm the competition. Look, be careful. Arthur! Arthur Hastings! Old place hasn't changed at all, has it? Where did you go? When you disappeared for two weeks? Did you ever remember? I must have had too lovely a time. <laughs> I was hoping you could use a reporter. I'm afraid I've got a half dozen of them. Bloody useless, the lot of them. I've got six pieces on my desk, all about the new flavour of joy. Can you imagine? It's coconut. Didn't Dr. Vlock make that announcement some time ago? Gemma wanted to do a piece on him. I hope she hasn't fallen in a hole somewhere. I haven't seen her in days. It's bloody frustrating, too. There's all sorts of 
silly rumours about the tunnels under Wellington Wells. Gas leaks, water main breaks, maintenance workers at the pub instead of their posts. If that were all true, Wellington Wells would be about to fall apart. I asked her to do a story about it. Oh, well, um, I'm sure she'll turn up and everything will be peachy. I'm sure it will. Lovely to see you, Arthur. Drop by any time, really. Should we just take everything? I don't think Dr. V would like that. The constabulary might notice. I don't see anything talking about Dr. V here. Where's her study? I thought vampires have to be invited in. Downer! Come out! We're friends of Gemma! Hey, look at that. You've been a busy girl, haven't you, Gemma? She needs our help. Terribly busy. What is it? Gemma's been taken away. I saw two doctors shove her into a pop. Oh my goodness. Why? She was digging into the tunnels. That didn't come out right. I, I, I followed up. The whole underground is sort of falling apart. Oh my. That's why you sent her, wasn't it? Not to write about the tunnel rats. I certainly couldn't print a story like that, could I? The joy's gone bad, and Dr. Verloc knows. But he's telling them not to worry. He's got some sort of permanent solution. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Well, that's sort of exactly what I thought. If I had a press pass, I could get into Hayworth Labs. And my old adulator, if you still got it. After what happened to Gemma? Dr. Verloc, he's sort of his own law there. I have some personal business there. If I'm not here when you get back, if you found something out, see if you can't publish it. Those numpties out there know how to put the ink on the page, but the only articles they ever read are their own. You're getting out? How? Oh, I wouldn't even know how to get out. But you never know when I might stop printing lies. And they won't like that. I guess this is the latest test formula. I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. Permanent solution. Drive the subject insane. Oh, no. Sergeant! Sergeant! Did you know half your workers are unconscious? The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction, so it is non-explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey, and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly, but they did. You can't do that. Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. Oh, shit. Listen, Sally Boyle's going to come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. 
And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know. She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. After nearly getting me killed, she better have my bloody letter of transit. So? Sally? Salamander? If she's not here, I swear to God I'll kill her. Hi. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Oh, you're a lifesaver. It's a bloody souvenir. God, it's awful. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. How are you holding up? What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want. Always what you need. Every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Do you really th think I'm that awful? Well, just because you fucked my dad while you were living in our house, in my mum's bed. <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, I don't hate you. In the strangest way, you're completely innocent. You're practically the only one I know who is. It's on the dresser there. Are you going to be okay? I could take you with me. Really? We have to go now. The joy's gone bad. It's going crazy out there. I can't go right now. Why? Oh, God. No. It's not simple. It never is. We'll have to wait till dawn. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. Look, there's something I haven't been entirely straight with you about. Oh. It's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Ah, there you are. We've been waiting for you. I know you. The, uh, executive committee asked me to see how things are going down here. About bloody time. I've been asking them for months. They think everything's peachy keen down here. It's not peachy keen, is it? I don't suppose you saw anyone working on the way in? Unless they were disguising it terribly well, no. They get dotty if they forget to go topside. The XCOM sent me to inspect the... The machine over there. The bucket wheel excavator. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Did you happen to notice a bloody great hole on your way in? That's because we delved too sloppily and too deep with that thing, and half the mine collapsed. I told the gang to stick to picks and shovels. We start that beast up again, the rest of the mine is going to collapse and take the entire bloody parade with it. That's quite alarming. Have you removed the activator? Ah, uh, no. The gang don't seem very interested in starting it up. Well, I think you'd better let me remove the activator. I don't want any accidents. Ah, uh, all right. 
You'll need my key card. I'll let them know you need relief. By God, you are the most on-the-ball person I've seen in years. Are you sure you're not a downer? Uh... Ah, <laughs> Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I've got it. What if you come with me? And I'm too old. What if I sneak you on the train? That's against... That's against the rules. Oh, if we get caught, I'll just say there was a mix-up and you can play dumb. Are you sure? Remember how I snuck you on the camping trip? Didn't it work out brilliantly? Just trust me. I trust you, Arthur. I said I trust you, Arthur. We'll go to Germany together. We'll take care of each other, no matter what happens. Oh, come on! Seriously? Can you just wait till I'm gone? Mr. Hastings. Just when I'd given up all hope of seeing an engineer. You know, sir, we've come to the end of our time. Some of us cut and run. Some of us stand by our post. Some of us take care of our brother. My brother? What are you saying? All men is brothers, sir. Right. Huh. Of course. Damn thing so itchy. These times like these what try men's souls, sir. They try men's souls. I know you. Please keep your hands inside the train. It is very dangerous to You must get back on the train. The windows of the train. Where'd you, go? Arthur. you must get back on board! No, I'm just here to take my brothers to the train. No. Mr. No, Percival Hastings. No, that's me, Arthur, Percy. No, People no, call me Percy. Please, no. Someone has written on this card that you are a bit dim, and you can't be roaming about on your own. You don't seem dim. Right. Well, um, Mum thinks I can't. Mum no, thinks I can't. No, Mum no, thinks no, I can't no, take no, care of myself. Arthur, but I can. To tell the truth, I really did want to go to Germany with my brother, Arthur. See, we, we'd sort of take care of each other. So I tried to sneak on, but then Arthur said, no, we have to follow the rules. Is that so? I'll just run along home. Mum's probably worried sick. Can I go? Oh, this is a day we may all come to regret, Mr. Hastings. But I am not going to put one more child on that train than my duty obligates me to do. Run along, then. Sir, are you all right? I'll best be on my way. I did something terrible. Oh, we have all done things we regret, sir. Some of them we regretted as we done them. Some of them never quite go away. I told him we'd go to Germany together. I told him I'd hold our passports and then I walked off the train with his passport. He didn't know how to talk to anyone but me. I can't make it up to him now. Can I? No, sir. I imagine you cannot. Then who is there to forgive me? Some try to forget. I can't do that. Not anymore. Well, I suppose you... you must treat it as a gift. To know 
who you are. Without that, there's no hope for wisdom. I wish I still believed in some sort of mercy. Life goes on. <laughs> that is the mercy. Come on, sir. Once you're out there, you'll know what to do. Well, I hope she likes it. That wasn't very nice, what you did to Arthur. What did you do while I was out? Stuff. Chanterelle? You're a master of conversation. Look what I got you in the warehouse. Oh. She's so pretty. Fair bit of Christmas there, isn't it? Did you know the pass which was along? They're all quite mad, you know, the home army lads. Did you know the power switch was along? I think they want the Germans to come back. It's the shame of it, you see. You bloody knew! For heaven's sake, Auntie, times are hard, but you and I are neighbours from way back. The tanks are hollow, Ollie. What's that? The tanks, they're made of papier-mâché. Like we made at school. We could have fought them. If they didn't really have tanks. Did... Did you know they were fake? Of course not. I wouldn't have had to light my way off that train. I would have told the lads. But... Would have risen up. But, Ollie. Oh, my God. You were the general secretary. I did. You must have known. You don't forget a thing like that. I lied my way off that train. If we'd have known, we'd have risen up. We'd have had to. I promised Percy I'd keep him safe. We'd, we'd have saved time. you and everyone else's kids. Didn't you hear me? I have to go find him. Oh, the bridge is crawling with policemen. There's that thingamajig you told me about. But I was going to use that. You, you were going to leave me? No, of course not. You're my daughter. You'll never believe you're a bridge inspector. You're right. You're always right. Take this to the Maiden Home Bridge and tell the Bobbies you're there to fix the bridge works. And from Maiden Home, I can get to Apple Home. Oh, and say hello to Percy for me. Well then, see you on the other side. see how you could have not known. I couldn't have known about the tanks, Meg. I'd never have forgotten such a thing. I'll see the General. He'll tell you. He'll tell us I never knew. Margaret! He has to. I think we might need to get out of here. How the hell do I get out of here? The doors are blocked! We can't stay here. The roof's going to fall on our heads any minute. How about we go back up and jump off the roof? Are you crazy? Well, I have that parachute, so it's better than it sounds. You're going to take a parachute up to the roof and jump off? If you've got a better idea, don't be shy! Christ on toast! Now, I just need to get up on that roof. You're not seriously going to jump off the roof? Come on, live a little. Uh, bad choice of words, sorry. I think they're setting up another bomb. Where the hell are they getting explosives? Oh, wait, they're missing something. No, I think they found it. If this doesn't work, I won't feel stupid for long. Chunks away! 
Margaret, wait for me! Those fucking wankers like rubble. I'm never going back there. It doesn't matter. They're blowing up the distillery? In God's name, why? So the soldiers don't get drunk all the time? If I didn't have more important things to do, I'd put a stop to that right quick. Fucking Starkey's back. I need to speak to the general. Get him, lads. what I ever do to them? You know what you did. It was a joke. All right, it wasn't a joke. What about the air raid shelter? It goes right under the fence. You're right. You're always right. I should have gone through the air raid shelter. Aren't you supposed to be at work? I quit. A soldier's allowed to quit. I guess we'll find out, won't we? I don't think he'll want me back at any rate. Not after the things I told him. The general? This is all his fault. The registry, the train, the way we bent over backwards. Wait, how can I be talking to you? You're dead. I quit because you're dead. My memory's all confused. I, I just sloshes around in my head. Does that make it easier to bear? The tanks were fake! The German tanks in the camp, paper mashy! Don't take that tone with me, Sergeant. I'll call the lads. They must have sent the real ones home after they took the town. Yes, yes, I don't need a bloody ghost of Christmas past. Before the train, tell him. In 1946, before they took the children. I know when they took the children, Ollie. We could have risen up. We could have saved them. I could have saved my daughter. Really? <laughs> would the good townsfolk of Wellington Wells have followed me into the machine guns? Or would they all have hidden in their basements? But after the war, you can't keep a secret like that, sir. Ollie, the safest secret in the world is a secret no one wants to hear. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, Ollie, don't you recall? You used to have such a good memory. You typed all my correspondence. When they requisitioned the newspaper and the glue, they needed quite a lot. You knew? There's holes in my memory. Like a church made of cheese and all the congregation is mice. They have to know the truth, sir. We have to tell them. The truth has too terrible a cost. Isn't that the decision we all made? Anyway, I'm out here in the Victory Memorial Camp. You don't think I'm the one who decides these things, do you? Who's minding the bloody store, then? The Executive Committee in City Hall. Why don't you drop by for a chat? I'm sure they'd happily listen to the ravings of a mad Scotsman from the Garden District. They'd listen to you, sir. <laughs> They'd tear me apart like starved jackals, and then they'd pop a joy. I think you should visit Sally Boyle. I don't want to forget. Really? Because we had this exact conversation a year ago. What? Oh. oh, Margaret. I'm sorry. Margaret. Margaret! Well, an apology makes it all better doesn't it? I'll ask Miss Bing. You will not. She'll help me. I'm calling the lads. You better get out of here. How? The cook, obviously. Right, right. Ollie, I didn't ask you here, did I? If you take enough joy, sometimes one forgets the silliest things. People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death, and they're painting the streets in fucking rainbows. Have you not noticed? Have you had your joy, Ollie? Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. 
They shape your face into a smile, and when you smile, you can't help being happy. You were kind to me, even when I got confused. I had no one else to turn to. Oh, Ollie. We have to tell people. They need to know the truth. No, Ollie. People do not need to know the truth. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh, but you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know, is there? No. It's better not to know. You, of all people, should understand that. I'm truly sorry about this, Miss Bing. Some sort of silly prank. When I left the village, I thought you people knew what you were doing. Turns out, well, I've been keeping it to myself. I have a pillbox in my kitchen. Would you mind terribly bringing me my joy? Oh, no, I can't. Please, Ollie. You were never cruel. I'm a soldier, ma'am. They teach you to be cruel. I need to see the executive committee. They won't listen. You'll only upset them, and then they'll take more joy and forget. They don't want the whole truth. No one wants the whole truth. You know what, Miss Bing? I'll come back. I'll come back when you're in your right mind. No! You can't, please. I I'll take you to the executive committee. I'll walk you there. Anything. Just please give me my joy. I need my joy. Why won't you give me my joy? Sure, I'll go get it for you right away. Now, this is what you were looking for, wasn't it? I'm afraid I can't let you have it. Why the fuck are you doing this? You evil downer bastard! I am going to kill you! I am going to kill you! I've got to answer the blower. People depend on my decisions. Hello? It's Beatrice Dalrymple. From the executive committee? I'm so sorry. Something's come up. Please come back tomorrow. Is that General Bing? Yeah, I haven't got time to chit-chat. We're trying to save the world. All right. Tomorrow, then. Tomorrow, I guess. I hope Miss Bing didn't sneak off while I wasn't looking. Take the key and lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. Take the key and lock her up, my fair lady. I brought some food. I made them sing, Ollie. So they wouldn't be afraid. But then they had to get on the train. Do you remember how they screamed? Aye. I remember. All except my daughter. Your daughter? Aye. Margaret. Because she was dead. <gasps> You've got to eat. Oh, I'll throw it right back up. What was it your dad fed you when you were sick and couldn't eat anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Coffee yogurt. I'll bring some. Give me my joy! <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? I'll get you that coffee yogurt. <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? Why won't you give me my joy? <laughs> Everything is quite all right. Sleepy tight, nighty night. Everything's tucked out of sight, my fair lady. I 
think you better give her that yogurt. So who am I pretending to be? You could always pretend to be the maid. Who is it? It's Brown, the gardener. Could you get Miss Bing? I'm sorry, she's very busy. You should have said that she's out. She's very busy being out. I'll leave it with you then. Would you uh, open up, please? I haven't got time to shave. Well, wrap something around your face. And I'm a fat, ugly Scotsman. Not all maids are thin, pretty and French. You've got all the bloody answers, haven't you? Just a minute! That's a good look for you. Suits you. You might want to shave a bit. Christ almighty, can't these people think for themselves? You must let me answer my messages. They won't know what to do on their own. Have you at least got a cigarette? They'll kill you, you know. Whoever told you that? Last time I managed to dig some out of the rubble, a house collapsed on me. <laughs> I nearly died. Give me some joy! I need my joy! You'll feel better soon. Ish, I think. Miss Bing? Oh, Miss Bing? It's Constable Nightsmith. You're busier than a one-legged man at an arse-kicking contest, aren't you? You won't fool the bobbies. They'll expect their sandwiches. You think he's getting upset? Ollie, you better talk to him. The children won't stop screaming. You have to talk to them. Then they settle down for a bit. Are you mad? <laughs> Aye. We could have saved them, you know. The tanks were made of papier-mâché. Little Artie Hastings tore a hole in one of them. What could that possibly matter now? I suppose it doesn't. Except that's just the first lie. Then comes the victory that wasn't, and then the happy pills, and the Simon Says, because the kids are all gone. You can paint loaves of bread on the shop windows all you like, but if people don't wake up, we're all going to starve to death. Please, give me my joy. Oh, I need you here with me, ma'am. Not off in Neverland with Wendy and Peter. <sighs> all right. The tanks were paper mache. The children didn't have to get on the train. Poor Margaret Worthing didn't have to die. Nay, eh, she didn't. We go to City Hall, back entrance. There's a private elevator. The code is 0126. The date of the victory. I'll write you a letter of transit. It won't be enough. People won't face facts. Not until we take their joy. That's what we have to do, Ollie. And when we do that, they'll murder each other in the street. Then why would you help me? There hasn't been a baby born in Wellington Wells in 17 years. We don't talk about that. I'd forgotten that. Let's go see the executive committee. Oh. Oh. People have to know. In an hour, you horrible little man. I won't even know you exist. You have to find the letters of transit. I can't stay here. Victoria's probably run to the police already. Then hurry! Find them! Look! Empty hydrogen tanks. What am I going to do with empty ones? The label. D-S-I-R. The Department of Scientific and Industrial Research. What well, you know, in all quite labs. In the parade. You think we can get the deposit back? They must have full ones there. Oh, what did I ever do to deserve you, Margaret? 
time for famous Britons. How on earth did he get to be Uncle Jack? Everybody likes him, except you. Have they forgotten what he did? People are forgetting a lot of things now. Oh, I suppose they don't even know what he did to you. But how did they forget who it was on the German radio every night during the occupation? They locked him up after the victory. People don't talk about the past anymore. When did they let him out? You've forgotten things too, you know. What are you doing in my playhouse? Margaret. Uh, I was, uh, uh, it was raining. Your legs are all wet. They shot you. You ran and they shot you. You're still drunk. Are you going to haunt me? Do you want me to go away? No, no, please don't. I think you're sitting on Helga. Sorry, Helga. I almost finished her. She's ever so upset about her apron. She likes everything to be just so. Could you finish her for me? Can't you just not look at the telly? No, I can't just not look at the telly. They put one in every bloody corner. I'll tell you what I can do. I can blow up the bloody broadcast antenna at City Hall. That is the worst idea I've ever heard from you. What do you know? You're dead. Huh? I haven't got an answer for that, have you? Margaret. Margaret! Ah. Hey, how did I get here? Did you go and see Sally Boyle? I can't have. She's, she's in the village. Or she came to you. It doesn't matter. She comes by. What, why does she come by? Do we trade? What did you buy from her? Oh, my memory's more than usually fuzzy. Did you take something she gave you? I was... I was sad, wasn't I? I and, and ashamed. I can still feel it. I just don't know why. You bought something from her, didn't you? Why? It was a sad. What have I got to be ashamed of? Margaret, don't look at me like that. Can't help it if I don't remember. Hmm. I'm sure I had it right here. Do you know... There are times you can actually take a little too much joy and, um, well, then you can't remember where anything is, can you? Ah, yes. Mm. Here it is. Um, Mrs. Florence Gilbert of Brougham Hayes is holding an exhibition of her hand-knit dolls. Oh, she likes to make dolls from all over the world, all knitted in wool. It's his last you show. How'd you can that? The camera's dolls. smashed. They couldn't have shot another. Do you know who'd have liked that? Margaret, yeah. Why is he talking about you? Who's Margaret? Because hmm? I love dolls. <laughs> what am I talking about? Who cares about the past? Well, listen, do drop by to see these fabulous dolls of Mrs. Florence Gilbert's. Poor thing. Poor thing? She loved dolls, you know. She had dozens of them, They're from all over. I can assure you that there's absolutely no truth to the silly rumor that the food is running out. How does he know about your dolls? However, it is true that there's a brand new flavour of joy. Jesus. You think a twelve year daughter would be over dolls? His daughter? Yes, Ollie. But she'd make these darling little costumes. I knew it was wrong. I mean. God. She was even excited about going to Germany. It was me. I couldn't imagine living without it, so... So I hid her. And someone tipped them off. And she ran. No, that's not right. It was Jack what turned you in and I what tried to save you. No, Ollie. You turned me in. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. But you were my daughter. Jack Worthing. Margaret I mean it's... Worthing. You're Ollie Starkey. No, I couldn't have. I could never have betrayed you. Food's run out. Neighbour. I was your neighbour. 
Oh, How could I? How can I do a thing like that to a little girl? Dear God. Dear God, I'm sorry, Margaret. I never meant to hurt you. What? It's a bit late for an apology. What? What can I do? Tell me. Do you hear me? We've come to the end of our time. The food's run out. We're all going to starve to death. You have to stop taking your joy. Take it from Jack Worthy. That's me. People have to know. But Jack's your father. Stop. That Jack's gone. That the food's run out. You all have to stop. That they have to stop. stop taking the joy. Stop it. You have to broadcast the tape. Right. Right. I could do that. But you won't, will you? They've cut the power. The bastards. There's an emergency. One of those really power thingy-mabobs. What do we do now? We say goodbye. To who? I'm not really your daughter. I know that. And I'm not really here. But... I'm a lie too. We've been together so many years. You don't think having an invisible friend is a wee bit babyish for a man who's been to war? We can hide in the train station till it all blows over. Now that you've put all that on the telly, I think it's time you put away childish things. You're right. You're always right. Goodbye, Margaret. Hey! You bastards! Look up! It's Ollie Starkey! Wake up, you damn sheep! I never liked you! Or you! That's right, you as well, pal! It's not a lovely day for it. It's a fucking terrible day for it. Lovely day for fucking war anyways. Fuck the law, you bastards! I'm going home! I wonder what's left of Scotland. Add three CCs. Well, let's just fire this up. Please don't blow up in the next 30 seconds. I'm out of Black Rose Band. Come back later. I need it now. Sorry. I don't have any now. Where is it? Where's the Blackberry? I'm making it! You're lying! It's a very delicate reaction. You're saving it over the bobbies! Ah! Where is it? 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 Where are you? Is that there, isn't it? My brain, it's not possible. We sent them all away. They never came back. It's a it's a rat, isn't it? I'm hallucinating and it's a rat and it's gonna bite me. You can't be a baby. You're a rat, you have to be a rat. A baby. Everything's gonna be okay. Mummy promises. Thing is, Mummy doesn't know how she's gonna feed you. Did you know that? And if she doesn't figure it out... Sally Boyle! I'm afraid I haven't got anything new or fashionable for a mob girl like yourself. Everything I've got's as old as me. <laughs> oh, Lionel. You've never felt old to me. I need some tin milk for something I'm brewing. Oh, well, uh, 
the, 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 the trade from over the bridge. Well, all, all we seem to have at the moment is a few tins of leftovers from the war, and they're practically collector's items. Pricey. Oh, I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. Is there anything we could trade? Not unless you're willing to go over to the garden district. <laughs> Why not? A girl like you? Some of the wastrels out there. there there's rumours of cannibals, devil worshippers, Q-jumpers. It's sweet that you're looking out for me. Well, some time ago, Uncle Jack made a record album. Uncle Jack Sings. And I got a collector who's dying to have it. Now, I know there's a bunch of Uncle Jack fans who have a sort of compound on eel pie. If anyone's got the album, it's them. Bring me that, and I'll give you all the tin milk I have. All right. I'll see what I can find. Sally Boyle! I hope you find the Uncle Jack record. Me borrower's been pestering me. I have indeed. You're a brillo! Milk you shall have! Lionel, you're sort of handy, aren't you? Well, I do like to tinker. You'd be amazed at the state of some of these things when they come into the shop. Can't sell them if I can't fix them. I have some designs for some apparatuses. Some sort of uh, water feeder for birds? Oh, heavens no. I can't stand the crows. It's for my flowers. Mustn't over water, but I keep forgetting to water at all. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, well, let me see what I got in the back there. I, I, I bet I can find all the pieces sooner or later. <laughs> they, they, they never show up right away, but they always show up sooner or later. Uh, check back in a bit. Go, darling. Baby milk. You won't believe what Mummy had to do to get this for you. Well, I'll never tell you, frankly. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. The lads is, uh, wondering if you've got any blackberry ready for them. Oh, I'm working on it. In a day or two, I hope. The lads is getting a mite twitchy, to tell you the truth. I must ask you to uh, accompany me to the station, so you can explain yourself to them precisely. I don't understand the worry. Haven't I always provided you with blackberry? I just had a little hiccup in the lab. I'd be working on it right now, but apparently you lads are lonely. That ain't quite true though, Mum, is it? You've been seen all over town doing all sorts of things. We don't imagine that Lionel Cashier is much of a source of pharmaceutical ingredients. Oh, but there, you'd be wrong, Constable. See, I had to replace some bits of lab equipment. And you've been roaming around the Golden District doing Lord knows what. Yes, well, I, um... Uh, Blackberry's made with herbal extracts. Why do you think it's called Blackberry? And the Victorial Memorial Camp? Two visits in the last week? I suppose them visits was for our benefit as well. Not at all. I was visiting the General. He also gets quite cross when I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, uh, so he... Uh, well, yes, yes, of course he would. Uh, right. Well, we can hardly expect Miss Boyle to ignore the General now, can we, lads? Oh, of course you would. Nonetheless, Miss Boyle, the lads have developed an appetite for your fine cooking, as it were. If they go hungry, chaos will ensue. We must insist that you devote your full and urgent attention to feeding them. Or what? Or we shall be compelled, willing or no, to provide your assistance willing or no, to Dr. Verloc. And that won't be cheery for either of us. Okay. First things first, how bad is the damage to the lab? The triode and the crystallizer's broken. Oh. Why do I get an N7 vacuum tube? Oh, God. My old chemistry box. It must be still... Well, young Miss... Boil. You know there's a curfew. You don't want some Fritz to shoot you dead, do you? Sorry, sir. Let's get you home. You had another fight with your mum, didn't you? Why don't I put in a good word? Miss, uh, Mrs. Boyle, I've got a young lady out here who, um... 
I'm sorry. They don't seem to be at home. What? Let me go in. They not at home. Let me take you to the station for a cup of tea. What happened? Let me in. Best you don't go in, miss. Cup of tea's best. What did she do? What did she do? What, what did she do? Oil, 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 oil. And Mum said, you don't have to worry about the train. No one's going on the train. Now I just need to replace all my chemicals. Let's see what Mikey has to say for himself. Someone's upstairs. How'd they get in? Well, General, why didn't you let yourself in? You didn't answer my knock. I wasn't home. Then you ought to lock the door. Oh, the memories always come back. Oh, then you have such dreadful things to remember. Be nice. <laughs> Let me make the bad memories go away. General? Robert? Are you still here? I'm risking my job, you know. Patient records are supposed to be private. I'm not going to hurt him. I promise. I suppose I didn't really want to know the truth. Don't worry. No one will ever know. Lovely day for it. You lovely day for it, me, you idiot. It's me, Sally. I knew it was you. I, I mean, it's another you. The glasses, the hair, you're all dashing now. But the way you look around, all intense like that, I just knew that's Arthur. How the hell are you? Sally? You look quite stylish. Now, this ancient thing. I've had it two weeks. I'm not even sure it's still in style. Queen of White checked. Your dress. That night you ran out the door and I never saw you again. <laughs> that horrible gingham dress. I had to grab something to put on, didn't I? Wait. You're off your joy. Oh, don't be oh, ridiculous. Oh, you of little faith. I'd never turn you in. You wouldn't believe what I've got myself into. I saw Percy. A picture of him. And I remembered the train. Oh, shit. I have to go find him. I promised I'd take care of How him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. Uh, I've been living in the garden the district. The garden district? Off the scraps of our former civilization. Oh my God. I could help you. I do... know General Bing. Oh, the General. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. You still hate me. Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 we were 16. years. 16! How could you? Because he took me in when my mum died. Because. Because he was so generous. Because he said he loved me. I don't know. Some things just happen whether you want them to or not. We were so close. The two musketeers. Remember? You know how we used to sit on the swings by the crash V1? These days I spend a lot of time there. 
remembering. Look, it's a horrible, terrible world out there, and no matter how clever and brave and fierce you are now, you'll need a letter of transit to get into the Emerald City. I've missed you for 14 years. I think I can escape Wellington Wells without Arthur. your help. And I definitely don't want any favours from your latest friend. Arthur! Well, there's your answer, darling. Arthur hasn't forgotten you. Shit. My... Um... The lads have, um... Prepared a little merriment to show our gratitude. Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle makes the world go round. Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle makes the world go round. Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle makes the world go round. Miss Boyle makes the world go round. Oh, I'll make a PPY to the FRW. Double E to the S A B E D, S A B E D from the bond of S I N. Glory, glory, hallelujah, hip hooray, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah. For the sixpence on a drum, save another drunk and bumpsing, hallelujah, hallelujah. For the sixpence on a drum, and you'll be saved. That was wonderful. Thank you. There, yeah, lads. That should hold you for a bit, right? And Miss Boyle will be sure to synthesize her Blackberry on time next time. So we don't have all this awkwardness. After all, with all you lads are going through, who knows how long this batch will last? Not as long as the last one, I'll wager. How many times did I nearly get myself killed for this patch? Gwen, we have got to get out of this goddamn town. No, no, no. You're a rat! You have to be a rat! That's exactly how Mummy feels. She's not allowed to show it to anyone. Not even you. Aren't you hungry, darling? We'll get across to the mainland. I just haven't got the faintest fucking clue how. But I bet there are still cows out there. Or goats. Won't be this awful stuff Mummy proves. And a cute little runny nose. And a rash that keeps getting worse. Oh, and a fever. Dear Lord, please don't let it be measles. Oh my God. The babies die of measles. How the hell do I treat it? Where the fuck am I gonna get cod liver oil? Cod liver oil. Yes, Dr. Verloc does have some, but he's pretty pissed off at Mummy right now. But I'll die if I don't get cod liver oil. All right, right. I'll go and see him. Maybe he's calmed down. Maybe. Hello, it's Sally. Sally Boyle. Can I come in? Right, oh ma'am. I'll get the door for you. Boyle, what a nice surprise. We haven't seen you in quite some time, have we, Constable Whistler? Indeed, we have not, Constable Layton. And may I say, ma'am, you brighten our day. Like, uh, like... Like Blackberry Joy. What would we do without our Blackberry Joy? And we thank you for it, don't we? I must say, Dr. Verloc is not equally thankful, seeing as you have become his primary competition. 
And he nurses a broken heart. Hell hath no fury, as they say. Are you quite sure you wish us to announce your presence? P please. Dr. Verloc, sir? I said no interruption. Dr. Verloc, sir, there is a young lady who wishes to see you. You'll have to be more specific. You place me in a quandary, sir, as you have expressly forbidden me to speak her name on any account. Sally. Hi. Come crawling back, have you? Please don't hate me, Anton. Oh, no? I teach you everything I know. You steal my notes. You are my notes, Doctor. You steal my business, and you have the nerve to come back here. You locked me out in the rain to teach me a lesson. And then you replace me with Bing. Anton. We were so close. So close to cracking the isometric structure of the new molecule. I suppose you cracked it on your own after you left, didn't you? Doctor. Your Blackberry. Doctor! I don't care if the General's protecting you. You've gone too far this time. Sergeant, arrest her. She's a thief. Don't let her get away. I am sorry, Miss Boyle. Uh, perhaps you had better... Yeah. Of course. It's advanced maths and chemistry. One of the German scientists is teaching it. We're not paying extra school fees for something you'll never use. That's too bad. All the brightest boys are taking it. The ones from their best families. And I'll need help with my homework. And we'll get to know each other. Oh, for once, you're talking sense. Maybe this once, we can scrape together some money. If you can talk your way in. He already said yes. Imagine my surprise. I'm sorry. For the past 14 years, I've sort of thought about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But being a complete jealous ass about the general was not really part of the plan. Sir Robert's a client. Oh, good. Uh, I mean... <laughs> I don't go around having sex with all my clients. No, no. Uh, of course not. I just... I could ask him. He likes to feel important. Even after all those awful things I said? We used to be Arthur and Sally. The two musketeers. Remember? Did you really come here just to offer me a letter of transit? Or did you want something? I thought we could help each other. All right. What do you want? I used to know I could trust you about anything. Of course you can trust me. What is it you want? It's going to sound stupid, but... A bottle of cod liver oil. A bottle of cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with. What if I told you it was sort of a souvenir? Why on earth would you want to remember your mum? It was an accident and she didn't mean to poison the soup. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Look, if it's too much to ask. I suppose it would be too much to expect. Don't worry, Arthur. I will ask my friend the General for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Look. It's not exactly a souvenir. Things have got a little more complicated than usual. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. I wanted to die, you know. I thought about it. But I couldn't. Not after... After what your mum did. What my mum did. <sighs> Look, I'll get it for you. The cod liver oil. I missed you so. I'm sorry. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'll, I'll, I'll get you that letter. I have to go. I'm sorry. I'm really, really. It just, I'll just came out. Go, get you that bottle. Meet you back here, sometime. I'll let you know when I've got it. I guess I've got to see the general now. Won't that be fun? You can't expect me to wear that. Since when do you care about fashion? I thought that was only for silly girls. For God's sake, Gingham. I look like Hansel and Gretel. You've been looking a bit too... provocative. Provocative? 
I don't even wear a bra yet. Mm, maybe you should. You don't want men to get the wrong idea about you. First I'm not doing enough to get a man, now I'm trying too hard. Just wear the dress, will you? It'll keep away the wrong sort of attention. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? It's Sally Boyle. I'm not a German infiltrator. Please don't ambush me. Where are they? Miss Boyle, we weren't expecting you. Harry, why the fuck is the gate open? Excuse my French, ma'am. I told you to close it. No, Sergeant, you didn't. You said you were going to close it, but you had to go to the loo first. No, I didn't. I said I'm going to the loo. Why don't you close the gate? Boys? Boys, you can close it now if you like. Right, Harry. Close the gate, if you please, whilst I accompany Miss Boyle to the General's office. Miss Boyle! I won't be happy to see you. He's trying to fix the boat again. The one in the warehouse? You mean the one in the boathouse, as is, Mom? They've moved the boat to the water. And he's got Hardy patching it up. Hardy don't hardly know which end of a boat goes in the water. If you don't think Hardy's up to it, find me someone who does know boats. Sally! I suppose you drift away, sir. How are we going to fetch you? What an unexpected pleasure. Army officers ought not to be pottering about in boats, sir. I realise you must be out of Rainbow. You haven't been round in weeks. Wasn't I around just a few days ago? Damn it. Oh, and a friend of mine left the parade without his letter of transit. Now he can't go back to work. Isn't that silly? Any friend of yours, my dear. It's been too long, anyway. Oddest thing, last time I was there, I could swear I heard something that sounded like a cat. But I haven't seen a cat since the war. Have you? Fortunately, I wrote myself a note. Sally's got a... baby. What do you suppose that means? Who knows? Once you hallucinated that you were back in India and you kept saying, but I don't want to shoot some poor bastard's elephant. <laughs> <laughs> You're as clever a liar as I am. <laughs> you can lie with the truth. Your cruel's a toy with me, General. It's Dr. Velox, baby. Isn't it? No wonder you never told him. God knows what he'd do to a baby. You might have told me. She's not your bloody baby. So what do you care? Do you remember the children born after the war? We got some of them out, but... They made everyone so unhappy. Can... can you get us out? I might be able to get her out, if I'm very clever, but... No. I can't spare you. What do you think would happen if our beloved Bobbies ran out of Blackberry Joy? I've a safe house. Remember that abandoned building where you threw me that masquerade ball last year? I've cleaned it up a bit. Bring her there. I'm not sending her away. Why not? It's traditional, a single girl in trouble, not equipped to take care of her baby. I'd have thought you'd be grateful. You'll end up in one of Dr. Verloc's glass cells, and even I won't be able to save you. You don't know what it's like to be alone, do you? <laughs> A girl like you never is. <laughs> I think you know the way out. Miss Boyle! How lovely to see you. You got the boat in the water. Well, over the water anyway. Uh, don't leak quite as much anymore. Thing is, the motor don't turn. I mean, forget starting it. The old man's got the only key. I can't even turn it with a wrench. Rusted solid. I'd have to take it apart, but I think I'd never get it back together again. You know a lot about boats. 
And you're the only one fixing it up? Ma'am, I'm a joiner. If you need a door hung, I'm your man. Apparently, that makes me the General's expert on boats. My dad and I patched up a Bristol pilot when I was a girl. Is uh, that what sort of boat it is? Did about 20 leagues, but yeah, it wasn't really white water. So we sold it for a twin diesel schooner. Of course, the Navy requisitioned that for lake patrols. We tried to patch up a Q-boat during the occupation, but we couldn't find a ramjet. I'm not an expert. Would you happen to know how to fix the motor? Well, if it's rusted solid, um, maybe Dr. Faraday would make a new one for me. You know Dr. Faraday? If the likes of me asked her, she'd probably zap me with one of her satanic devices. All right, but don't tell the General. No, ma'am. It'll be our little secret. Won't the General be surprised? You're still in town. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Lifesaver. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. You look. rough. What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want, always what you need, every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Am I really that awful? Well, just because you seduced my dad in my mum's bed while you were staying in our house? How was I supposed to tell him no? I didn't have anywhere else to go. Um, sorry. Here. Let's go together. The two musketeers. I'm scared, Arthur. Aren't you? <sighs> it's going crazy out there. We have to go now. Wait, wait. I have to go back to my place first. Why? And we sort of have to wait till dawn. Oh, God, no. There's something I have to tell you. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. I've got a baby. <sighs> it's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Arthur? Arthur? for you. Well, actually, it's perfectly horrid. I know. But it will help you fight those nasty measles. And that is everything. We're gonna see the world, darling. We're gonna leave this awful place and go wherever we want. Just as soon as you're feeling better. told you to come to my safe house, I meant knock on the door. Not come down the chimney. Did you forget something? Gwen's safe. Oh, yes, I'm sure you're taking smashing good care of her. What if one of Dr. Verloc's boys comes knocking while you're out? We'll move house. And when they catch you out on the street? What happens to her then? Come, look. It looks empty from the outside. No sense painting a target on the place. Food for a year. Vitamins, first aid. How lovely for you. You'll stay here after I get Gwen across the bridge. It's the only place I can keep you safe. I wanted it to feel like home. I think I'll keep looking. You can't 
go. The doctors are scouring the streets. This is a cage. Not once you tell me where she is. I'm not going to do that. I think you will. Baby's going to get hungry if you're not there to feed her. You bastard! You are horrible, vicious coward! Sally, Traitor. do you love her or do you just love having someone who needs you? Let us stay with us. Here. Please. This is no place for a child. She's just a small thing. I'll make you happy. I promise. You'll come first. I can make you so happy. You're just like when we first met. Leaving this facility without me, I have the only key card. You bloody witch! <laughs> <laughs> despise me for it. I think I deserve a little consolation in my own age. I'm not your consolation prize. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. The neighbors think you've got a downer in your house. <laughs> not me. If I were any happier, I couldn't walk in these heels. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. They heard someone crying. Love to chat, but I'm expecting Sir Robert any moment. Then you shouldn't have provoked Dr. V like that, after he tried so hard to put you out of his mind. Look, you tell Anton that the general is going to be really fucking pissed off. And... I don't think he much cares anymore what mood Sir Robert is in. Personally, I'd like to see your customer list. Odd. Something I've not smelled since... That's a baby! Yes! Isn't she adorable? Oh. bucket it's gonna be dark in here darling but when you come out you'll be as safe as you can be you're going to be as quiet as a mouse aren't you because you don't want mommy and you to be torn to tiny little pieces just go to sleep for a little while. All right? Now all we have to do is travel safely across the entire city and not upset any doctors or any townsfolk carrying torches or pitchforks or plague victims. Oh, the stories you'll have when you grow up. Shh. It's almost over. I don't know who you're trying to fool, Mum. Talking all posh like that. You think Prince Charming's going to come visiting with a glass slipper? I hope not. He's already married to Snow White, Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. Don't be smart. Nobody likes a smart girl.
they won't anymore, will they? Make as much noise as you like. Maybe I'm not such a rubbish mum after all. You'll never know how alone someone can be. You have me. I'll have you. I guess I'm happy, would you? We're gonna have such adventures. We'll be the two musketeers.